Hey guys, today I'm going to be unboxing the Master Grade Zeta Gundam 3 B-Type Grey Zeta. It is rather interesting that this version of the Zeta is called the Grey Zeta when in fact it's orange in color. It, uh, that's kind of strange. Where it's like its counterpart is the red Zeta, I think, or something like that. And then, yeah, this one is grey, but it's orange. I don't know. It's kind of weird. But anyway, this is obviously a P Bandai kit, as you can tell by the just monochrome uh, color scheme there for this box art. And you can tell, or if you, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a, a picture of the kit, uh, not like a painted image or something like that, like we would normally see for the box art. Uh, and it's just like detailed up there uh, with some photoshopping and yeah this is another just P Bandai kit that I have just on loan to me from uh, my friend Alex so uh, he is let me, letting me take a look at this kit, snap it up and do a review and share that with you guys uh, and then I'll uh, pass it back to him so thanks once again to Alex for letting me take a look at this and share that with you guys here so uh, as you can see up here in the corner this is from Gundam Evolve 9 so if you guys are not really familiar with this uh, design. Uh, I am not really either because I haven't actually seen that uh, that Gundam Evolve episode. But Gundam Evolve, I guess, is just like a series of like short videos uh, that were just like for promotional stuff, and they just I guess have featured like a lot of kind of side story things. So uh, yeah, that's what this is from. It's basically just a orange version of the Zeta uh, with some differences, and it's got like some more striping kind of things going on with it, and it's got this big old gun and a big shield as well. So here on the bottom we can just see there's the there's the name there, the Master Grade logo. You can see it's 2015 release. This has been re-released I think once or twice since its original release though. Here on the bottom and the top just gonna be the same thing there. On the sides just typical P Bandai style just the name there and the other side just the same thing. We can see the list price is 6500 yen. So this is a really big Master Grade box. Uh, so 6500 yen I think is not too bad for this for sure. That is of course if you can get it at that price. Uh, so there's a lot of stuff in here. So we have, first of all there's that big sheet of uh, stickers. Now as I said there's like a lot of striping on this kit so they're giving you these stickers for that as well as some very large orange parts there. Pretty cool orange color scheme for this. Uh, some gray inner frame parts. I've actually never built a uh, Zeta 2.0 mass grade kit so this will be interesting. It'll be my first time. There's some water slides there too. That's always nice. And then a whole bunch of just other stuff. So the majority of this is going to be the 2.0 Zeta, but there is going to be a handful of new parts here. But this, like these, all look like some of the new parts, possibly. Uh, we do have some more foil stickers there. It looks like as well. Uh, some black parts. Some more yellow parts. Some different color yellow parts for the V fin for the head. It looks like uh, more orange, 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 orange. A whole lot of orange. Uh, and we do actually have the action base, or it's this is kind of like the launch stand base thing for this. I've actually never built one of these either, so it'd be cool to check that out. I didn't know that this kit actually came with that. That's interesting. Uh, got a couple of beam saber effect parts in there and some more orange parts. Looks like uh, some parts for like the mega launcher, which obviously we're not going to be using with this, but it'll be it'll be nice if you can actually make one. All right, so here for the manual, we can see this is the box art once again, but now it's in color, full color. Anyway, so you can see that cool like uh, Z Z3B in the back there for Zeta uh, 3B. Uh, the 3B type. And yeah, that's what the kit looks like in color and then it transformed with that big huge gun. Uh, here we can see some better images here so you can get a look at that. So yeah, it's got this like brown striping on there so that's what all those stickers are for. For you to do that with stickers if you don't want to do that by painting. So this is just showing you where all the stickers and decals and everything is going. And then here's the painting guide here at the bottom. <clears throat> no like uh, center page with a bunch of more pictures or anything like that. Like normal master grade kits have. Oh, fun! This looks like it's got a lot of double runners. Okay, so there's gonna be a lot of leftover parts with this kit due to just changing up the color scheme of it. So here we can see the A runner uh, is either separate, I'm not quite sure what this is showing here. I'll have to take a look when we get a look at the runners. 
but either the A runner is separated strangely or we're just having a lot of parts that we're not going to be using all these grayed out parts. Uh, the B runner, we're going to have two of the B runner, B runner, actually four of the B runner because there's two of each and they're in different colors. So I'm guessing this one is, what color is that? Black. And this one is in orange. So we'll have a lot of leftover of those colors. The D runner as well. I've got one in orange and one in yellow. So we're going to have lots of those. Uh, the C runner, a lot of parts left off of the C runner we're not going to use. Uh, looks like we are going to be using parts from the Mega Launcher. Uh, okay, I guess you can build that as well with this apparently. And then uh, some more parts we're not going to be using from those, couple runners, and then finally the base, and then uh, these it looks like after the base, looks like these are maybe the new runners here. So it looks like uh, maybe Q, uh, N, I don't know if that's new, maybe not. Uh, o, P, Q, Q2 and R are maybe the new runners for this kit. So, uh, going through the manual, it is just going to be pretty standard, I imagine. Here's showing you the order of how you're going to be building this stuff. I'm going to start off with the body and head unit. So, where's the head? Okay, sorry, there. Head first, then the body. So, this is kind of interesting that you're actually attaching the, the head onto the torso, like as you're building the torso, not afterwards, which is different. Uh, then just building up the torso, torso, then moving on to the arms, arms, waist, and then onto the legs, let's see, legs, legs, look at all this sticker applying going on there for those stripes. Woo! Finishing up the lower body, then uh, snapping the body together, then moving on to the tail stabilizer and wings, basically just the backpack here that we're building for that. Finishing that up and then onto the weapons. So yeah, I can see we've got just the regular Zeta shield, the regular Zeta's beam rifle, the mega launcher, the large new shield, and the huge new gun. So yeah, we're gonna have a, lots of weapons that you can use for this kit. So that's pretty cool that you can actually build all that stuff. I'm actually kind of surprised. I would have thought that the hyper mega launcher, that that would have just been like like we have all the parts on the runners, but the instruction manual doesn't show you how to actually build that. Because as far as I knew, this this mobile suit just only uses that gun, not the mega launcher. But it's nice that they're including that in the manual, showing you how to build that. Uh, then just how to mount the weapons and all of that. Uh, the Gatling guns or missiles there, I should say, in the forearm. And then how to build the base here. How to connect that to the base. It's a little bit different connection in this case. Uh, and then how to transform. So the transforming system, yada yada yada, transformation, transformation, and then there's what it's supposed to look like when it's transformed and how to connect that and then once again where we're going to be putting all the sticker markings and decals. So I guess these are just for just the striping stickers on this page. Anyway, let's get to the runners. Alright, so first up here is that foil sticker sheet, and yeah, a lot of these on here. So you can see a few of these, these are just for the eyes and cameras for the head, I imagine, maybe camera for the gun, and then all these little like blue light ones are then just going to be going all over the place, all over the kit. And then here's that uh, sticker sheet, so this is like the sticker decal uh, kind of sheet, and yeah, quite a lot of these. Uh, this is like a kind of light tan, almost like a dull gold color. Uh, it's like definitely like goldish, but it's not shiny at all really. Uh, then we also have this one here, which is that like wolf head, like white, uh, just kind of wolf. I guess it's supposed to be a wolf head. I think that's for the shield. But there's not really too much point using that sticker because you also have a water slide of the same thing. Here, and then a few, mother, a few more water slides here, but really not all that many. And not a lot. If you wanted some like specific like markings for this kit, there's really not a whole lot. It's all pretty like, much generic kind of stuff for the most part. It's all really nice, and as you can see, like we have some in like red, black, yellow. These ones here look really nice, but uh, nothing too flashy in terms of the water slide decals. Then we got SB1 for our standard pink 100 scale pink uh, beam saber effect parts. This one looks like it's maybe it's like pre-curved, like that's for the effect, but I think that's just because it was just sitting in the runner bag like that and got bent. But um, probably just leave it like that because that could be good, useful for the effect part. I don't have to worry about bending it myself. 
uh, could make for a cool effect anyway. Alright, so here we have the A runner, and as I said, I think uh, up until adding A through N is all just from the Master Grade Zeta Gundam version 2.0, so there's not going to be anything new until after that, so until then, this is all just stuff from the 2.0 Zeta kit. Uh, this runner is all in a really dark gray, like almost black color, and except for just the two clear parts there, I think just clear parts for the head. Uh, if not, okay, no, this one is for the uh, gun, and then this clear part there is for in the head. And the runner B is in that same dark grayish black color. I think in the manual it says black, so let's just say black. Uh, and this is just some more armor pieces here. So we'd have two of this runner, but then we also actually have four of this runner because we have uh, a set in black and a set in orange just because like, I think it was, we're going to be using like some of these pieces are going to be in orange, but then some of them actually have to be in black, so they just gave us four of the B runner. C runner here in that same nice orange color. It's a really nice color actually. I really like this. It really makes me like this kit quite a bit just because of this color. Uh, and here we got some parts for the head armor as well as our pilot figures. Interestingly, I want to point this out too. We got a standing pilot figure, a seated pilot figure, and then this is like a uh, pilot figure. You can see it's made up of these two parts. Here's the main body and here's the arms holding like those uh, baton things that's used like for like a flight, flight officer or flight deck officer kind of thing. I don't really know exactly what the term for that military personnel person would be, but uh, you guys get the idea. Then we got runner D is in this pretty pale yellow color, not really too into this color, but I think once the kit is like all done, it will look fine like in the whole scheme of everything, but just as it is, it looks a little bit kind of ugly. But uh, like with the B runner, uh, the D runner is the same where we have two in yellow, then we also have two in orange, so we actually have four of the D runner there because you'd be using some parts from each color. And then we got runner E, still in the same nice orange color. Uh, obviously some large parts there for the Hyper Mega Launcher and then some other armor parts here. Then we got runner F here is still once again in orange. There's going to be quite a lot of orange in this kit. Just some more armor parts and we do have two of this F runner. Then we've got runner G, uh, which is a really huge runner. It's a really, really big one. And this is just obviously some larger parts for the backpack and also for the beam rifle. Now, I obviously on the original kit, this would have been in black. So it's going to be pretty interesting having an orange beam rifle for the Zeta. That'll be kind of goofy. All right, so now we're getting into the frame. So here's the H runner, just in a standard gray color. A lot of really nice detail in here, as you can see. Uh, one thing that a lot of the 2.0 kits have done really well is a lot of this really super nice detail. And by the way, the H runner was in just regular polystyrene, but now here the I runner, this is in ABS. So we just got some ABS for obviously more inner frame stuff. The hands are in here as well. Just a lot of these joints and all of that. And then runner J is also more uh, ABS gray inner frame parts. And so we do have two of this J runner. As it looks like the majority of everything here on the J runner is making up frame joint parts for the legs and arms. And we do have polycaps for this kit, but I didn't go over them earlier because this is actually the K runner. So this is a specific K uh, like marked runner for this kit. Now, I don't know if this exact polycap runner does exist with just a standard like polycap marking on it, but uh, if not, it looks like the, this polycap runner was made specifically for the Master Grade Zeta version 2.0. Then we've got runner L, which is just the base plate for the base. So it's kind of like with the Perfect Grade Unicorn, where the base is actually marked as a runner, but it's just one piece. But anyway, there's that. A lot of nice detail on there. Of course, there's going to be like the sink lines on there. So if you're going to be airbrushing this, uh, that paint is so thin that you're probably going to be able to see those uh, lines pretty well. So you're going to have to give this a really good sanding over the top of that whole surface there. And the runner M, just more black parts there for that base. So just a lot of these really big heavy parts uh, for making up kind of the stand of the base. And then runner N is the last of our not new parts. This is just the four little parts for the V-fin in this kind of same yellow color like we saw before. All right, now we're getting into some new parts. Here we have runner O. So uh, this is just, as you can see, uh, just actually that's upside down. Here we go. That's parts for the new parts for the backpack and new parts there, a big, huge part for the shield. Nice that the new runners have this runner marking style where it's actually cut out a letter that's much easier to see than the old style in the Zeta 2.0 kit that just had just the thing there. It's kind of harder to see. And so the runner marking for these new parts is going to be gray Zeta. Then here we got runner P. 
This is just uh, some large parts here in gray, some parts there obviously for the guns for the shield, kind of inner part of the shield, and then the big huge new super rifle. Then next is runner Q, just some more orange armor pieces, some new orange armor pieces. These are going to replace some of the outer armor parts from the original kit. And then we also have runner Q2, which is a copy of this section here. And then finally, last runner here is runner R, and it's interesting this is the last runner, and this looks like it would be an A runner, but it's uh, just four colors here, so black for a lot of these parts in and around here. Some clear green parts in here that looks like clear green for the camera of the big huge new gun, and I think these four little clear green ones are going in for like around the uh, gun on the shield, I think I want to say. Could be wrong about that, but I can't really remember. One little red part there for the kind of crest on the head, and then uh, three new yellow parts there for the torso and the face plate. So that is it. So that wraps up unboxing the P Bandai Master Grade Zeta Gundam 3 B Type Gray Zeta. Uh, looks like a really cool kit. I'm definitely looking forward to checking this out. Uh, as you guys may know, I've said on many occasions, just the Zeta Gundam is not really one of my favorite designs. I like it fine, but it's just not one that I really go crazy over and love. Like a lot of people do love it, but uh, this one I do quite like. Probably helps because of the color scheme. I really like that orange color scheme of it. And those that new huge uh, gun and the huge shield. It's pretty cool. I like the new weapons for this, so looking forward to checking this out. Uh, so thanks once again uh, to Alex for letting me borrow this kit, and thanks to you guys for watching this video. If you have any other questions or comments, leave those down below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the review. Bye-bye.